What's up guys? It's Joe and Ash from Fear to Fascination. And in case you don't know who we are, we're reptile breeders from Las Vegas, Nevada. We mainly specialize in ball pythons and we have this channel so that we can share our experiences and our love of reptiles with all of you. We want to start off by apologizing for not having been more active on our social media platforms, but I got some good news for you. Mm -hmm. We're back! <laughs> You may remember us from our shout out that we got from Dave Kaufman, Excellent where we Dave. won Las Vegas' Reptile Super Show's Best New Breeder uh, Award. I cannot believe it's been four years that we've been on this journey. It's been crazy, especially over the past couple years, because in 2021, we hatched out 15 clutches, which kept us really busy. That's a lot of babies to take care of. To this last year, in 2022, we hit over 30 clutches. So taking care of over 200 babies has kept us pretty busy, to say the least. Well, you know, we've got a nice little rhythm to things now, and I'm real excited to share with you guys that we're going to be posting a lot more content. And with all of that said, we are going to be sharing with you all our top five favorite hatchlings from 2022. I'll be going first. Joe will be following. Let's, Let's get it. All right, y'all. So this is one of my favorites of the five that we're showing you today. She is a banana champagne 50% clown GHI, possible GHI. And just one of those that came out of the clutch that we were just amazed by. This one is probably my favorite out of my top five. This right here is a super pastel mahogany, 50% albino. I cannot get over the patterning on this beauty. Belly just down the sides. And I love what's happening where there's just like white down the dorsal. It's very, very, I'm gonna call it splotchy. Um, just absolutely stunning. So here it is again. So, so beautiful. I like that slate gray color in them. All right, so for my other pick, this is an OD Leopard 50% Clown. If you know anything about me, if there's a leopard in the mix, I am here for it. I really love how the Orange Dream makes the color just pop and it's super, super, super iridescent. I'm gonna show you the belly on this beauty cannot get over it now to share with you guys just another stunning stunning beauty so i've become a big fan of the lesser i love the creaminess that it brings out she is a lesser het g stripe 50 percent clown super pastel so she's really really creamy a look at that and I love I'm, I'm gonna call them keyholes alien heads um, that are here I just love how they're spacious here we have a blade spot nose het clown um, there's just something about this that I really love it's not like your average snake I that's funny to say I love the dorsal on this snake. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love how almost creamy it looks, but it still has that richness of the black around it. Let me show you his belly, her belly, I think, her belly. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. I really am getting into the spot noses. I really love the head stamp that they have. Um, and again, just what it does to the patterning. Those alien heads, are a bit more defined and just really stand out in the color too. Okay guys, time for my top five picks and this is definitely one of them. So really excited anytime that we can hit a double visual. We ended up hitting the albino pied and I also believe this one might be black pastel too. And the reason that leads me to believe that is these like really rich darker yellows that are in it. And I'm not super familiar with the pattern change up when it comes to black pastel because this is my first albino pie that I've hatched out. But it, all the colors, all these bright colors, these rich yellows would lead me to believe that the black pastel is in there. There's also a, pass a possibility for pastel, a possibility for pastel. 
So let me know what you guys think, if you think it's pastel or black pastel. But definitely keeping this girl as, I believe this is our second, possibly third double visual recessive. All right, guys, next on my list, look at this head stamp. She's wanting to be shy right now, but absolutely stunning clown. It's a pastel GHI clown. And I mean, look at these awesome little keyholes. Kind of got a heart going on right here. Just amazing. The white from the pastel coming up the sides. A lot of people hate on pastel and clown, but that's because you ain't got GHI in the mix. No. Seriously, though, you just got to put the right combos together. And this snake is just amazing from head to tail. Pow. Check it out. Lots of cool stuff going on with GHI and clown. If you're working the clown projects, you already know. Going to definitely try to get something cracking with this one, if you know what I mean. Okay, guys, back with another clown, and this one is really crazy. It's not so much about what you see on this one, but it's about what she's holding on the inside. So this is a female banana clown. Uh, I believe it's super pastel, possibly super pastel, or pastel at least. And then it's het G-stripe, 100% het G-stripe. So this girl is ideally gonna make more G-stripe clowns, which give this really cool pattern, like what's on the neck here almost all the way down the snake pretty much, instead of getting these, you know, typical clown marker, markers, the snake will look like that all the way down it. So really cool. Not a lot going on on the head stamp with this one, but it's just all about these creamy oranges and yellows that I'm sure the camera is not picking up. The lavenders, look at the orange inside of that little keyhole. Beautiful. All right, I'm cheating on this one. These are both from the same clutch. I just loved what came out in this mahogany clutch. Something about it, uh, my first time hatching mahoganies, I think, on this clutch. So this one I have as a super Mojave, super pastel mahogany Mojave. And then this one I've got labeled as a super pastel just Mojave. And what makes me think that is this one, you can see how broken up the alien heads are, how it spreads it and creates this pixelation. I've seen this with other mahogany combos. But with this, this is real indicative of what you would see with just the Mojave. I mean, some of those are broken up, but nothing like the other one. So I'm calling this one the Mojave. Let me know what you guys think if you've worked with this gene more. I'm all ears. Um, and I do believe they're both super pastel, which sometimes I make the mistake on calling two copies when there's only one. So let me know what you think. With it being as washed out it is it, as it is here, I figure it's gotta be super pastel. And as well as the head, you know, it was totally washed as a baby, but as I start to age, they get a little bit more color. Yeah, let me know which one you guys like more and let me know what you think about the jeans. Is this super pastel mahogany? Mojave? Is that all in the mix right there? And that I'm pretty sure no mahogany in here. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, here's another double. I'm cheating as you see. So there were just so many cool clutches that came out and uh, we just had beauty. So I'm, I'm tag teaming this one as another double pick. This tri-stripe was my first official tri-stripe. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Now you guys know I'm always raving about tri-stripe, how stunning it is. And then just with one gene in the mix, look what Inchi does. Really, really cool. Usually you'll see these bubbles down the dorsal like this. I have another one that I hatched out that has more of those. But just look how Inchi just spread it. Created much more golden yellow sides. Just a beautiful snake. I tell you guys, I cannot get enough of these tri-stripes. Look at this. Stripes on stripes on stripes. Stunning. Let me get some more light on these guys. Oh, tri-stripe greatness. I know you love it like I do. All right, guys, that's our top five picks of our 2022 hatchlings. And do us a favor, we're just getting this channel going, so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more videos coming for you guys. And to get more content from us, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And we also have our upcoming hatchlings on our Morph Market page, Fear to Fascination. That's right. And since you guys stuck around to the end of the video, we're going to show you some bonus picks that didn't make our top five. So check these out. Oh yeah, and remember, conquer your fears. And turn them to fascinations. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, guys, this is one of my runner-ups. This was just really cool. I am a huge fan of GHI. 
I love these little dots that it'll put on the front of the eye stripes right here. So super pastel, GHI, and this one is 50% Heck Clown, so it might have a little bit of that reactiveness to it. A friend put me up on a little tip. I don't know how true it is. We proved it out in most of our snakes, but if your Paws Heck Clown has a little dot on the end of the tail, and as well as usually like a stripe down that tail, and then you'll see striping on the, on the neck right past the head usually, like a solid stripe, even stronger than that one usually. Then it's typically gonna prove out from what I've gathered. Don't hold me to it, but that's one of the markers that I've noticed from Clown. Really, really cool, GHI, you just can't go wrong. You gotta have it. And look at these washed out spots in the dorsal. Cool, right guys? Put your sunglasses on for this one, guys. This might be the brightest orange banana that I've ever hatched out. Look at the sides of this thing. The camera does no justice. Absolutely stunning. I'm not even gonna tell you what's in this one. Just know, we got the brightest, most beautiful bananas around, baby. Look at this. One of my favorites. Bananas where it started for us. Bananas and albinos really attracted us to all the different genes. So, you know we gotta stay true to the bananas and keep hatching them out for all the other people out there who love bananas. You are very hissy.